Hey guys, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. It is still full Christmas mode here in the city, so I wanted to check out a few of the holiday markets. We are starting today here at Bryant Park's Holiday Market in Winter Village, and it is absolutely stunning here. They have over a hundred vendors here, so I'm definitely going to eat some stuff and check out what they have, maybe grab a gift or two. And we're also gonna head over to Macy's. I haven't been there in years and I know it's gonna be crowded, so wish me luck. And then we're gonna get over to Hudson Yards. So let's do this. So guys, I never start with something sweet, but I smelled these cider donuts and I was like, yep, I'm gonna have to, to try one. So there is a little bit of a line but hopefully it moves fast, so let's get on it. So guys, here's my donut. I'm totally squishing it, but I'm excited to eat it. Here we go. I have cinnamon all over my lips. But it's really good. Yeah, it was $5, really good. Like I said, I'm from the Hudson Valley, so I'm used to having a lot of apple cider donuts. It's like our thing. And actually, the place that I got it from is a Hudson Valley vendor. So, shout out to the Hudson Valley. But yeah, yummy. So guys, similar to the Columbus Circle Market, um, obviously they have a lot of food and different vendors and people who are selling all types of different items. Um, you can definitely find Christmas gifts here. This one is just a lot bigger. There are definitely, I was reading, a hundred plus vendors here. So just keep that in mind, you can spend a lot of time here. Um, definitely, oh the other cool thing is that the skating rink is free admission so if you have your own pair of skates it's free for you. I'm going to check around to see how much it is to rent skates but that I think is really cool. So if you just happen to bring your skates you can skate here for free. Um, so yeah I think that's pretty cool. So guys here are the skate rentals. So it looks like they're between $18 and $55. And then there's bag checks, and you can take a skating lesson as well. And there's the aids. That's probably something I would definitely need to use because I have rollerbladed before, but I've never actually ice when ice skating. So um, that's something I would have to consider. Um, so I wouldn't bust my butt. But yeah. I'm very obsessed with these ornaments. Like, look how cute! New York, taxi. And then, if you have a dog, you can, you know, inscribe your name on these. And it looks like they are about $19. So my friend Chris is going to be joining us any second now and we're both starving. So I'm kind of torn between the Rafaelette place and this place called Happy Dumpling. Um, there is a long line for the Rafaelette place. It's basically, you've probably seen it all over TikTok and Instagram, is those sandwiches that get the melted cheese like basically melted right onto them and they look amazing. So if the line comes down, I might wait for that or I'm totally happy with dumplings. I'm going to wait for Chris to get here and see what we decide. But that's that's basically where we are right now. <laughs> um, there's so much food to choose from. There's also this like home free place that I probably will also try because I love Belgian fries and I love dipping them in different sauces. Um, and so there, just in this area alone, there's like four different places I want to eat. So yeah, wish me luck. Let's do this. I'm going to open it. All right. Surprise. You ready? Yeah. Let's. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> okay, go. One, two, three. Does my hair look crazy? <laughs> no. It's okay to record this part. This... It does look crazy though? No. <laughs> We went to Happy Dumpling. We got an order of mix, so it's like three pork, three chicken, and two vegetables. I got sriracha aioli and just regular plain soy sauce. Um, so let's go. I'm gonna go into sriracha. I have no idea which one this is, but a little mystery. Mm. Mm. 
so I got pork. So guys, this is really, really good. Um, of course, you have to try to find a pork one somewhere in there. <laughs> it's really, really good. Um, yeah, and the sriracha aioli is like, just like a nice kick. It's not like super overpowering. Look at me sounding like a little foodie. Um, I hope you enjoy these reviews. <laughs> There you go. Thank you so much. No problem. Have Enjoy. Do you want some napkins? Yes, please. I got you. All right, guys. So we decided on some fries, and we went with home free. Um, these are truffle fries with a lemon garlic aioli. I am super excited to try these. I don't know where to start. I don't want to mess up this formation, but I'm hungry, so here we go. Oh, wait. Wait. No, not there. I guess there. Okay. The truffle is lovely. This lemon garlic aioli is lovely. I don't like to truffle food in my mouth. Um, but super, super good. Um, definitely try this while you're here. Um, yeah, it's just good. I don't know if anybody who's been here has been to Prom Free, if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Just like that. Super yummy. I'm obsessed with french fries to begin with, so. Mm, that was 100 calories, but it's all worth it, baby. <laughs> we lost 100 calories, so you should be happy about that. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> yeah, just like to show a little bit more. I'm like now because it's a little more like the sun has gone down, so the lights are coming on. It's so pretty. Hopefully the tree is on. We gotta check that out next. Look at my ooh, look at my hat. How much was it? Eleven. I think so, yeah, $11, which is not bad. Like, a lot of things here are like, we're, how would I say that? So the price range, that's the word. The price range of what I'm seeing, at least for like food wise, is between 10 all the way up to some things being like 25, 30. Like there's a place called Cheese Steaks by the Truffleless, 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 Truffleless. Um, obviously when you're adding like fresh shaved truffle, whatever, that's gonna be more expensive. And But those Cheese Steaks look amazing. Um, and then like they have obviously drinks like they have hot chocolates for like six dollars ciders for five so like around that range um but yeah this is a cute place especially if you like have someone to share things with because then you can try more multiple things um that definitely helps so i definitely recommend coming here with friends or family or on a date and yeah sharing and trying as much as you can all right guys we made it to macy's it's not as bad as i was expecting thankfully um, it's still very hectic over here, um, but yeah, it, look how gorgeous. Uh, here we go. There we go. There's a Macy sign. I'm, you know, it's taking all my strength not to go in there and go shopping. So I'm, I'm staying on schedule, and I'm just gonna look at the windows. But look how pretty. So guys, I had to step away from, you know, the window this way because it is quite loud over there. But yeah, I'm on the other side of Macy's and it is taking all of my strength not to go in there and shop, but I'm gonna be good and I'm gonna head straight to Hudson Yards. Hudson Yards is literally right down 34th Street. So if you keep going towards the river, well, don't hit the river, obviously, but you'll see the vessel. It's a structure, a sculpture, a structure. You'll see it, it's enormous. Um, you used to be able to walk up it, but you can't anymore. And so yeah, we're gonna head there. <laughs> Look at Chris. <laughs> One of the things that I think you should definitely do during the holidays here in New York City when you get the chance, it's also free, which is nice, is visit Hudson Yards. It's all the way down 34th Street going towards the Hudson River. And they do this beautiful light display and the decorations are absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's also a mall, so you can always go shopping. Um, they have some of my favorite stores in here like Muji and Origins and obviously anything from like Uniqlo, all types of stuff. So. It's, I'm gonna show you around, but it is, as you can see, like you can see all the lights kind of behind me already. Like this is, this is how the whole mall is going to look. It's, it's kind of wild. Um, but yeah, let's take a look.
Alright guys, I found this like, it's a little like photo station. You can like place your phone here. Ooh, look at my hair. And it's super, super cute. Um, another... So look, this is just another view of the mall. Um, and obviously how gorgeous it is. But yeah, I think this is really cute. Like literally my phone is just on a stand here and it's Shine Bright Hudson Yards. And just tag them when you're here. Um, yeah, it's cool. So guys, this is what I was talking about earlier. I think this is so cute. Um, so yeah, you come up here and you place your phone. Let me see how I can get a nice shot. And then yeah, you can like step into the shot, obviously. Um, and they have a thing called a sparkle spot, which is super cute. And yeah, like obviously guys, this is one of the more iconic parts of the mall. So obviously when you watch reels or TikToks or anything like that, they're definitely gonna show you this part um, because it's absolutely gorgeous. Like obviously the hot air balloon, it changes colors and it's just like all of the lights twinkling down. It's just, I don't know, it's super gorgeous. Obviously right outside is the vessel. We're gonna head out there in a little bit, but yeah, this is, I don't know, I love Christmas and times or sometimes things get really hard and you know there's nice to have moments like this and be reminded that even though it's very commercial but it's beautiful and you know the holidays can be really nice <laughs> you should like subscribe and ring that bell to stay up to date with all of my content and you know while you're here you should go check out my last vlog anyways guys i had such a great time making this video and i can't wait to see you in the next one bye